Kirby Smart and the dogs are doing something pretty incredible right now. And that's that they're not losing at home. The last four years, they've gone undefeated at home between the hedges. Of course, the last time they lost to someone in Athens was South Carolina in 2019, thanks to Jake Fromm and Tyler Simmons and Rodrigo Blankenship, a game that Georgia should never have lost. I mean, they just handed that game to South Carolina. Ever since then, uh, they've won every game in Athens. That's 25 in a row. It's the longest current home winning streak in college football. Anyone who goes four years in a row, especially in the SEC, right? I, I have to say that. It's the most dominant conference in college football and has been uh, for several years now. So you've got a Georgia team that is just not losing at home. They haven't done it for the past four years, and I don't think they're going to lose at home in 2024 either. Here's who they've got. Tennessee Tech, snoozer. Georgia should win that game by 100. Auburn, who just can't win in Athens. Can't win in Athens. They haven't done it in 2005. They're not going to do it this fall either. So that's, I mean, I I'm drawing up a W on that schedule for Georgia, and I'm not thinking twice about it. Mississippi State, they're not coming to Athens and win. They got uh, 1%, 1%, probably zero, but I'm a nice guy. I'm going to give them 1%. Tennessee coming to Athens, I'd give Tennessee maybe a 20% chance of winning that game. Uh, last time they beat Georgia in Athens was 2016, thanks to Rico McGraw, who threw his helmet off after that long Jacob Eason touchdown, gave Georgia a penalty, and you know what happened there. So thanks to dummy Rico McGraw, Georgia found a way to lose that game. UMass is coming to town. That's going to be a butt kicking. Who cares? And then Georgia Tech, they're not winning in Athens, not this year or anytime soon. I mean, those are just the facts. They put up a cute little fight in Atlanta last year, but Georgia Tech's not coming to Athens anytime soon and winning. So I feel comfortable unless Tennessee kind of shocks the college football world and goes into Athens and wins, that this will be fifth year in a row where Georgia doesn't lose a home game. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Again, they've won 25 home games in a row. And this leads me to my next point. And that's Sanford Stadium is a really tough place to play. It's one of the toughest places in college football for an opponent to play. You can make the argument that it's the toughest environment to play in for an opponent. Coming into Athens between the hedges uh, in front of these fans, it, it's one of the toughest things to do in all of college football. Now, several years ago, if you want to say that you know Sanford Stadium is not intimidating, it's not loud, yada, 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 sure, I mean, I'd give you that. Uh, several, several years ago. But now, uh, I mean, George is blowing out good teams who come to Athens. Uh, I mean, what they did to Ole Miss, top 10 team last year, just, just, destroyed them, just absolutely destroyed them. Top 10 Kentucky, top 10 Arkansas have been in, and it just, they have no shot. They have no shot. It's varsity versus JV when teams come to Athens. That's just how it is. Number one, Tennessee, biggest Georgia-Tennessee game of all time, and Georgia just threw them in a ditch. I mean, it, it wasn't even close. Uh, they, they dominate. They dominate. Not only because they're one of the more talented teams in college football, but it is louder than people still give it credit for, which is crazy. Ask those Notre Dame fans who came in 2019 how loud it was. Notre Dame was going backwards the whole time. False start, false start, false start. Th those are the fans. Tennessee went backwards. Number one offense in the country in 2022. They had uh, no, they had no idea what they were doing when the crowd in Athens was going nuts, right? Because I'll, I'll say this, this is going to trigger a lot of Tennessee fans. Athens and Sanford Stadium has been louder than Neyland Stadium over the last several years. Neyland Stadium is overrated. I'm not going to say that about Auburn and uh, Jordan Hare, Jordan Hare, whatever they, they call it over on the Plains. That is a crazy, wild, electric atmosphere. I've covered four games in Knoxville every time I'm disappointed. And maybe that's because Georgia's going up there and just wiping the floor with them. I mean, every, Georgia goes up there and has no problem at all. I mean, they're playing like they're playing in Athens. There's no intimidation factor. There's no, there's, the, the fans don't impact the game at all when Georgia goes up there. It might be different when South Carolina, Vanderbilt, Kentucky play in Elon Stadium. But when the dogs go up there, four years in a row, I've seen fans leave at the half. Uh, they are just not into it. Um, and Georgia goes up, the crowd, the crowd goes silent, and they've made zero impact. The Auburn fans make an impact. The South Carolina fans make an impact. The Clemson fans make an impact. LSU, 
those environments matter. Neyland Stadium is as overrated a place as you can get. I love the pageantry. Uh, I love the excitement before the game. It's a great feel. But once Georgia goes up, and I can only say this because I covered the dogs. And I've covered four Georgia-Tennessee games in Neyland Stadium. And the game's over at the half. And there's no electricity in the, the crowd. It's as quiet as I've ever heard 100,000 people. And a lot of them leave. So I, I, the environment there is not what it used to be. Auburn's still crazy. When the dogs come to town in Auburn, it is, it's basically, it's not their Super Bowl because they play Alabama shortly after, but it's that's the second biggest game of the year. Uh, every two years, it, that Georgia game means a lot. Those fans bring it. And Georgia has a tougher time over there than they do in Neyland Stadium. Uh, South Carolina can get loud. It's, it's a cool environment. Uh, again, Georgia doesn't go over there and have too much trouble. But when teams come to Athens, they have a lot of trouble. They have a lot of trouble with the team uh, and the players, but it's hard to play in that environment. Now, Missouri came in and they gave Georgia a real good fight, but that was on the Georgia fans. They didn't, they don't care about Missouri. I mean, they, the Georgia fans aren't getting up for Missouri. And maybe, you know, that's something that Georgia fans have to do a better job of. Um, but when Auburn comes to town and Tennessee comes to town and Notre Dame or, you know, the big boys, when they come to Athens, it's as crazy and as loud as any stadium in college football. I mean, those, those are the facts. I'm not just saying that, uh, but I cover all the games in, in Athens. I, I'm there and I've been there year after year after year. I know how loud and crazy it gets. I go to other SEC stadiums. Uh, LSU was crazy loud. Um, South Carolina can be really loud in the first quarter. Auburn can be really loud. Neyland Stadium uh, is just doesn't do it for me. Every time I'm disappointed, I'm done hearing about it. I've never covered a game in the Swamp, obviously, because that game's in Jacksonville. Uh, I've seen Mercedes-Benz Stadium just boom, boom, just with, with crazy, crazy uh, noise there when, when something happens. The Rose Bowl was pretty crazy. The Orange Bowl uh, can get loud, but I'm telling you right now, what Georgia's doing at home, it's going to be tough for anyone to come into Athens and beat them when they're playing well, led by Kirby Smart with all that talent anytime soon, uh, it could be several more years before Georgia loses a home game. And I'm not trying to throw shade at Auburn and Tennessee and all these other teams, but it, it is what it is. Uh, Georgia has no problem going to these places and winning, but everyone has a problem when they come to Athens. And then again, it's just the facts. And uh, a lot of this video is to explain, you know, when Georgia might lose at home. What if they never lose at home? When they, it's crazy. Right, it's crazy, but it, it still might be a while before Kirby Smart's dogs host a team and they come out on the losing end. Uh, and again, they should have beat South Carolina in 2019. They just gave the game away against Tennessee in 2016. Gave the game away. If they're not giving the game away and they play well, it's tough for me to imagine any team coming in. I think Oklahoma will play in Athens in 25. Maybe they give Georgia a good run. Texas A&M in the rain gave Georgia a real fight in 2019. Um, but there's no Jake Fromm playing quarterback at Georgia anymore. Every quarterback at Georgia is going to be better than Jake Fromm. So the, the 2019 season, you just throw it away because that was not the same Georgia team. It's not the same Georgia program. It's not the same Georgia staff that they have now. They're a monster right now. And they were becoming a monster in 17, 18, 19. And again, they almost won the thing in 2017. But it is so hard to come into Athens and win. And it is, it's not crazy to say that it's the toughest environment to go play in. I don't, I don't want to hear about Penn State, Nittany the Stadium, whatever. I mean, I, I don't want to hear about the shoe. I'm sure it's tough. I don't want to hear about Michigan Stadium. They lost there several times. Uh, maybe not in the past two years, but in recent memory. Uh, whereas Georgia, you, you have to really think about it. If you're just a casual college football fan, you probably don't remember that South Carolina 2019 was the last time Georgia won at home. But 25 wins in a row, longest active streak uh, in college football at home. They're not losing to anyone uh, this season at home either unless they really just fall apart. Auburn's not going to beat a Georgia team that's playing well. Tennessee's not going to beat a Georgia team that's playing really well. We know how you beat Georgia. And normally it's with tremendous quarterback play and Georgia shooting themselves in the foot several times. If they don't do that, no one's beating them.
in 2024 and maybe not the year after that. So it's a, a pretty incredible streak that they've got going on right now. When do you think Georgia will lose at home? Is it anytime soon? Probably not. Uh, but it, it is one of the best environments in college football. And right now, you'd have to say it's the toughest place, the most intimidating place for any team to play in all of college football. Thanks for watching this video. We've got more over on Dog Post. You can sign up to our free newsletter. That link is down below. Hope to see you over on the website.